tutorial, I am going to be going over one of my favorite Pokemon, Eevee. So I personally think that Eevee is one of the more popular Pokemon amongst girls, and because my demographic is mainly girls, I decided to do a Eevee Halloween makeup tutorial. So I'm using Dollar Tree makeup to achieve this look, and I decided I wanted to use Dollar Tree makeup again because I can see a lot of maybe mothers trying to do this to their children. I'm going to talk about the costume real quick. I made the costume myself, and I didn't film myself making it because it's very self-explanatory. You just get craft foam or brown construction paper, cut it out, then you want some a black felt, cut that out, you're going to glue it to a headband, then you're going to cut out some um, white felt and then glue it to a brown t-shirt, and then this is craft foam and white felt again. So if you're just like this, I think Pokemon lovers will get that you're Eevee, but if you're really trying to make it like come across that I am Eevee, you might want to make yourself or get a Pokeball or an Eevee plushie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. Oh, I love her. And Anyways, let's begin. You might hear some pops and bangs. That's because people are currently shooting guns and firecrackers because the Cubs are going to the World Series and I live in Chicago. Anyways, the first thing I did was take a foundation and apply it to the face. This one is from Dollar Tree. I don't suggest using it because it is terrible, but I wanted to make sure I was using Dollar Tree products. If you're going to use Dollar Tree foundation, I suggest using the pressed powder one. Now I'm taking Colormate's dark brown brow powder and using it to fill in my brows. You want to make sure that your brows are nice and full and brown because Evie is brown. So if you're a blonde, you might want to make it a darker blonde color or just go with brown altogether. Now I mix both brow powders together and I apply it to my cheekbones so I kind of contour the cheekbones and then I blend it up on the side of my temples and towards the forehead. It's a very warm brown, both colors. Like one's a little bit darker than the other but they have a warm chocolate type of undertone to them so it doesn't look too crazy on the face. Even if it's a little too streaky and you can't really blend it out, it's okay, it's Halloween makeup. I then apply that color onto the eyelid, blending it up toward the brow bone and then along the lower lash line. Again, I'm mixing the two colors together, I'm not just using one or the other, it's a mixture of both. So Dollar Tree carries crayon face paints and I'm taking the black one that I bought in a kit and I'm using it to start drawing on Evie's nose. You draw it on the tip of your nose so it looks really small and cute and then you can draw a line between your nose and your mouth so where your cupid's bow is so it starts looking like a little like animal such as a fox, a dog, a cat nose and then you can draw on the mouth. The mouth you're just drawing a line that goes right where your lips meet and then you curve it out so it kind of looks like a little smile. Now I'm taking a black liquid eyeliner and using it to line my line, creating a wing that helps elongate my eyes and make them look a little bit more animal-like. Evie has these little markings in the inner corner of her eyes. I, I don't know if they're eyebrows or just expression lines, so I just recreated that right near the brow. And then I take the crayon face paint and I apply it along my lower lash line and use my finger to blend it out. I used it along the lower lash line because the liner would look too harsh there and it's hard to blend out liquid eyeliner. It's much easier to blend out cream makeup and the face paint is creamy so it's really easy to blend out. Evie has huge eyes so I take a white eyeliner pencil and apply that to my waterline. This will help my eyes appear bigger. And then take the white eyeliner and apply it around my tear duct, which will also help my eyes just appear bigger and very cute. Um, kind of like doll-like, like I keep saying the word doll-like, but dolls tend to have big, bright eyes. That's what the white eyeliner will help you kind of mimic. I then applied my false lashes. I didn't do it on camera because I have a hard time applying false lashes on camera because I'm too far from the mirror. So then I just used the white eyeliner pencil as a highlight on the bridge of my nose and on the top of my cheekbone. I just applied the white pencil there and used my finger to blend it out. Last thing you want to do is take some foundation and apply it to your lips to cancel out your natural lip color and then you can go ahead and put on your costume. So that's it for the tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and say a little prayer for me because they are still shooting out here. And the Cubs won about an hour ago. So yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.